Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name is Nick. This week I want to take this workbench or assembly slash outfeed table that Jay Bates and April Wilkerson had made me and kind of upgrade the bottom storage. Right now it's just kind of collecting clutter and doesn't utilize the space real well. I wanted to make some cubbies for some storage containers. Let me show you how I did it. I was going to build this project out of plywood, so I started with ripping the plywood to roughly in half. I didn't get to an exact measurement but then I could slide my table saw fence over slightly and trim both pieces so they're exactly the same in width. I often like to do this when breaking down sheet goods because you get a nice clean cut and you can sneak up on your exact measurement. Then I got out my table saw sled and cut one end of each of the pieces nice and square. I wasn't sure if this was a factory edge or whatever it was, it might have been a little bit dinged up. So that's always a good practice, just to square everything up so you know you're starting with a good cut. Then I could put both pieces together and clamp them in place so that they're right on top of one another, and then I cut them to final length. These were gonna be the top and bottom of my organizer. For the sides and also the middle dividers, they were all the same size. I was gonna need five of those pieces. So I repeated the exact same process. Ripped it to approximately in half, slid the fence over to my final dimension, and then ripped the opposite edge of both of those pieces, making sure that I had nice smooth edges and they were parallel. Again, same thing on the table saw sled, cut those ends nice and square, and then I installed a stop block on my rip fence, and that was gonna act as a stop, considering I had to cut five identical pieces out of this. You can slide it against that stop block and then make your cut. That way, when you're making your cut, you're not ending up with a piece that could bind between your table saw blade and your rip fence. My organizer was gonna house like shoebox containers, little plastic shoebox containers. And I wanted to have some dados in the middle dividers, but then also the ends, so that I could slide in these little, you know, pieces of quarter inch MDF to act as dividers. I technically didn't need this first dado, but I used a spacer with my router jig and that gave me the perfect offset. And then when I cut my second cut, that's actually the, the groove or the dado that I was gonna use. Being that first groove is there, it just helped me kind of set up the jig. And I suppose I could use it in case my needs change in the future. I debated adding a dado in the center, but I just saw it as unnecessary as I really wasn't gonna use that portion of it. But I gotta tell you, using this router jig to cut the dados, it went really quick. If you guys want more information on that, I'll have a link in the description below. Again, you can see me adding that spacer for the first cut, and then the jig just slides into that cut I just made. In this case, I'm using a spiral down cut bit, a quarter inch diameter. You could use a spiral up cut bit because the spiral down cut kind of clogs with chips occasionally, but you can't argue with the results. That down cut bit produces beautiful, crisp, clean, tear out free edges. For the end pieces, I cut dados on just one face, and then for the three center sections, I cut dados on both faces. I took a little extra time to make sure to mark out not only the center of all the dividers, but also the ends. That way, when I go to do an assembly later, that's going to help out making sure everything stays nice and aligned. I clamped both pieces together, both the top and bottom, then using a pilot drill bit with a countersink, I drilled on that center line all the way through the top piece and then just into the bottom piece a little bit so I knew exactly where that location was. Then I could just finish the through holes on that bottom piece and countersink those as well. Next was assembly. I started with essentially the top or bottom. At this point, it doesn't necessarily have a top or bottom, but stood it up on its ends and then added a little bit of glue for just extra insurance. And then using a brad nailer, made sure everything was nice and flush and square, and then just added a couple brads to keep everything from sliding around. Pretty much repeated the process on the other end. It's not very stable here with the brad nails in, but it's not necessarily for strength, it's just to kind of keep things aligned. Then I can move on to adding a few screws. I added three screws in each joint, which may or may not be overkill, considering this is gonna reside under an assembly table, and it's not really gonna have a whole lot of force exerted on it, but hey, it's only a few extra screws, so why not? Then it's just a matter of kind of rinse and repeat with the center dividers. I aligned it with my marks, and I also employed a combination square to make sure not only was I on my marks, that all the dividers were nice and square before I screwed them in place. I already have other ideas that I want to add to this thing, but that I'll have to save for another video, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out. 
After that, I could just flip it over and repeat the same thing with the other side. Just aligning it perfect, shooting a brad nail in. Again, using that square to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And then just install the remaining screws. And here is the moment of truth to fit it in the actual assembly table. It was kind of a snug fit, but I, I really liked that. That way it wasn't you know, off by a whole lot in any direction. Being this was gonna sit in the bottom of my assembly table, it really wasn't going anywhere, but I threw in a few screws for grandma. Now onto the quarter inch MDF. I can cut that down to size. I believe the depth of the cabinet ended up being like 11 and three quarters inches. And I cut the width of them probably about an eighth or maybe a sixteenth less than the actual opening in the dados. And then I could slide those in place. I didn't necessarily want a back because I, ha I have additions that I want to add to this in the future. But the quarter inch MDF is a little bit undersized for that router bit I used earlier. So just a couple little dabs of CA glue and then I shot it with activator and this thing isn't going anywhere. That way, if I do want to change it up in the future, a quick utility knife score on that CA glue and those things will pop right out. Then it was just a matter of putting in the storage containers. I'm pretty satisfied on how this thing turned out. Before, it was just kind of collecting clutter. That bottom shelf, I wasn't really utilizing it to the best of its abilities. So now with these storage bins, hopefully I can stay more organized. But now granted, it's not the full depth of this assembly table, and that's for good reason. There's a ton of other things that I'm gonna be adding that are gonna use that space as well as other spaces on this assembly table. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, and you can head over to nickferry.com for the build article as well as a ton of other information, and I'll leave a link for that down in the description. And if while you're there, if you wanna sign up for the email newsletter, that way it can be sent right to your inbox and you don't miss a thing. Jay Bates and April Wilkerson were in my shop while they built this assembly table for me. If you want to see Jay building it, I will leave a link in the description below on his channel of him building this exact table in my shop. April liked it so much, but she didn't have the room to have a dedicated standalone assembly table. So she came up with a really cool solution to have kind of a fold down thing to where she can use it when she needs it and then fold it out of the way when she needs to get at her bandsaw. So definitely check out both of their channels. Like I said, all the links in the description below. They, there's some awesome people. We had some, uh, just an absolute blast working together. Well, until I see you guys next time, you guys, take care. Clutter. At least now I got some vertical storage to... I, I felt like... I lift you up and you're my hero. No. Hey guys, my hands are up here. I should just handcuff myself. <laughs> I'm not even going there. Real efficient. So I wanted to add some cubby bins. Cubby bins. It's the two subscribes that screwed me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so that I can have you subscribed and you can be a subscriber of the subscription.